welcome to the final race week video well before the actual race day video which will go out maybe tomorrow maybe the day after anyway good day as that is our last swim for the foreseeable future at Corby Pool. Catherine, how do you feel? Yeah. Oh, I'm so relieved. <laughs> it's just quite stressful swimming in lanes there and it's a bit of a drive here and back. So our local pool is like, what, a seven, 800 meter walk from our front yeah, door. Takes so two minutes. That opens tomorrow and we will be back there next week. But last prep swim done, that was four by 150, like 50 sort of going out hard and then a hundred easy, a uh, hundred easy, hundred at like race pace. So that was a, uh, all right, it felt a bit tired. We swam last night, so quick turnaround, but needs must. And uh, what are we doing the rest of today? Uh, Easy jog. I got a bike session. Catherine's got a bike it's only session. A small one though. So we'll catch up with you after work at some point later today. Okay, work is done. It's now 5:30 p.m., and I thought it might be good to go through a little bit about before tomorrow's final video i say tomorrow it's actually going to be the race video the next one so this is the last video before that race video recap which will have saturday and sunday in it but i haven't really talked about the course i haven't talked about the other people doing the race uh so i thought rather than me talk too much about it i've done the race once in 2019 but someone who's done it i think a few more times than that and has been around the course more recently is triathlon dan okay i have the one and only Mr. Triathlon Dan himself, Daniel Ward. How are you doing? I'm very well. Thank goodness there is only one of them as well. <laughs> Can you imagine? Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me on. No worries. And uh, I wanted to speak to you today, basically. You've got a bit more insider info, having been and wrecked the course quite recently. And you've seen all of the people that we're going to talk about later racing already this season. So I figured you were a good person to ask for a bit of like insider knowledge, a bit of punditry around what you think is going to happen at the event, basically. So yeah, what's the uh, what's the rundown of the course? What's the things to look out for, and what are you expecting to see there? Okay, I feel like I'm going to enjoy and do a better job of the punditry, uh, <laughs> stirring the pot with how people are going to do it than the course uh, course information. But if we start with the swim, it's a pretty simple swim. You swim. Uh, out go around an island and basically come back so it's pretty straightforward uh, the bike is lovely there's been a bit of resurfacing in the first couple of miles so there's a ride of two halves i think so will you've ridden this course and so have i i spent a bit more time going around it than you did so i think i probably had more time to take in the, the scenery and the surroundings uh, the first half is a bit more undulating a bit more twisty and turny when you get to about 30 miles pretty much the majority of the way back is just a, a fast a road with one uh, one like climb off hill halfway back um so it's something to think about on the way out but on the way back you can just power to aero just go for it and um, the run course three laps there's one hill on each lap it doesn't feel like much of a hill on the first lap it feels like more of a hill on the second lap it feels like a mountain on the third steeper and um, steeper condition. Yeah, there's not much cover uh, tree-wise, so if it's a hot day, it could be tough. There's plenty of feed stations. It's an incredible, uh, incredible place to be. We've got loads of support out of the day, and I look forward to cheering you guys on from the sidelines. Wicked. And, uh, yeah, to add to your point on that fast bit on the uh, the end of the bike course, it's forecast for a tailwind as well. So those last 20 miles are going to go by a lot quicker than the first, like, 30, definitely. Your big boy chain ring's going to pay dividends, isn't it? I know, right? 56 tooth. <laughs> well worth it. Um, so you've obviously seen you're at Outlaw Nottingham yourself, unfortunately, kind of a few unideal circumstances for your personal race, but that did mean that you got the opportunity to kind of see how things unfolded for the, uh, the elite wave there. Yeah. Who, who do you think is going well? And we're probably going to talk more about the YouTube triathletes cause you know, we've got to think of the, uh, <laughs> the YouTube yeah, so family, but yeah. Yeah, let's get some let's get some clickbait on the go. So um, I did a video before our law half not ago in which I talked about the YouTube triathlete. So there's a few people who do triathlon who are on YouTube. And I basically did my predictions for that race, and it was good fun to do. And I felt like I could do that because whereas you're in the mix of those, you probably won't want to put your hand up and say, "Oh, I think I'm going to win because it's just not in your nature." I'm absolutely happy to <laughs> say who I think is going to win and who isn't, yeah. and I'm probably a bit brave because this is going up on your channel. So before that race, I did that. Uh, I did actually put you in that video, didn't I? Before I knew that you weren't doing the race. So thank you for letting me still go ahead with the video. <laughs> so that race uh, obviously played out, and everybody's done their sort of post-race debriefs. I don't think I'm going to go too deep into that. I thought I'd give you a quick overview of the YouTube triathletes who are taking part. There are many others, many other elite. 
athletes that will be in the mix and will affect the outcome. Andy Horsfall Turner, second at Outlaw uh, Half Nottingham. His confidence will be through the roof following that uh, result. He's messaged me about five times this week saying, Oh, did I tell you I beat Tim Don? So <laughs> just get ready for him being full of himself. That was a class result. Um, yeah, and he's also done a video this week uh, where he's talking about his biggest change for the whole curve is that he's changed the cap he's wearing as if he's thinking about his breaking the breaking the tape finish line photo. So that's clearly where his head's at. Um, Will Monday now? Will Monday is an actual pro, so has the professional, the elite long distance license. Uh, because of the way that the race is starting, Will's actually starting quite far towards the back of the pro field, so that could be actually to his advantage if he manages to sort of hang on to that group in the swim. Um, there's a lot of people in the amateur field who haven't raced much and the pros for the last 18 months or so, so I think we're going to see a lot of people in the amateur race performing very well and being in the mix with these pros, and perhaps some of these pros not performing quite towards the front uh, pointy end just because of the, the dynamics of the race and stuff on the day as well there's a bigger amateur elite field than there is a professional field so that could also play a part All as right. well um, I don't think Will's strength is his swim I'm sure he'd admit uh, that it, it, swimming isn't his, his, his strongest discipline so we could see him being mixed up in the age group race but that, that could be interesting to watch play out Harry Palmer, uh, probably the biggest YouTuber amongst all of us, uh, has the largest head out of all of us as well. I'm sure you imagine. <laughs> He's said 10k um, subs, hasn't he, recently? Got to give him a exactly. shout out for that. Yeah, yeah, well done, Harry, through great team. <laughs> um, fourth at Outlaw Half Nottingham, a great result for him. Um, He's obviously got a bit of a gap to close to, to Andy, but again, the race dynamics play a big part on a race day, so we could see a different result on race day. Uh, he has been whinging about his back hurting, so I'm sure that'll, that'll materialise in one of his post-race excuses, but um, yeah, we could be for a good performance from him. Uh, and then the fourth uh, YouTube triathlete is, uh, of course, yourself, Will. Uh, now, you're a bit of an unknown quantity <laughs> because you didn't race in the first edition of the YouTube World Championships. And I missed However, out. You, you have recently raced at Olympic distance, which you haven't shouted about, but you did win quite convinc convincingly. Um, and I think that's a glimmer of what, of what is to what is to come. So um, under the radar second, a bit. Yeah, second to Will Clark a few years ago at Holcomb. So uh, not to be underestimated. So let's go into how I think the race is going to play out. I'm not going to go into specific times. I was going to talk about who I think is going to have the, the best time splits for swim, bike, and run, and then who I think is going to win out of the YouTubers. So out of the swim. Andy Horsfall Turner is just, I think, about level above the majority of swimmers. He will more than likely have one of the fastest swim splits, swim splits of the day. So I put him down for the fastest swim. Harry Palmer, I think, is going to be second. He's been putting a lot of work in the pool over the winter. He's been very lucky. He's been able to keep swimming consistently for the last few months. I think that will pay dividends. Shows, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, um, and then I have put uh, yourself, Will, as a third fastest swim. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure where yours and Will Monday's swim is at. <laughs> Will's been doing a fair bit of racing, of course, with some swims being sea swims and some in the lake, and you never know how the draft hard is played out. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's hard to estimate. Um, On to the bike. This is going to be different because I think at our half months ago, Andy Horsfall Turner was so low, so he was able to ride his own race, ride his own pace. He started a fair bit further back at Holcomb than he did at Nottingham Half, so I think mm -hmm. he's going to be around other people. And that works both ways. He has some drafting benefit, but he'll also perhaps have to close some gaps or sit up because there's a big group in front who doesn't want to go past. Um, I still think he will perhaps ride the fastest uh, split of the YouTube triathletes because he will be that further forward and potentially riding with faster riders. Um, and then I put, in close succession, Harry, <laughs> yourself, and Will, and I think you're going to end up pretty close together on the road. I've looked at the start times, and I think you're not a million miles away from each other, and I think you'll end up coming together. So if there are any time differences, it might just be because the group comes together rather than people making big efforts and not. But um, I think that the course lends well to, to drafting, particularly in the second half, so those groups will stick together a lot more. On to the run, um, I put Will Monday down to have the fastest run split of the day. Uh, he is no joker when it comes to the run. and um, it, it, Can't be underestimated. Do, yeah, I think he's going to do well. Um, second on the run, Will, I put yourself. I know you've had an injury <laughs> and had a fair bit of time off, but I think sometimes, as hard as it is to, think, uh, to digest, having a break does... Bounce, bounce you back well and I know you're not going to want to play uh, show your cards just yet but you've got some encouraging <laughs> sessions haven't you so um, 
you know, fingers crossed, have a good run. Then I put Harry Palmer as the third uh, fastest run. He ran a one sixteen fifty something at uh, Nottingham Half. Solid. The course isn't, yeah, isn't as fast as Holcomb, but it, that is a strong split. Um, and then Andy Horse will turn out put to have the slowest run of the four U two triathletes, but it will be by no means yeah. slow. <laughs> it's a relative um, slow. Yeah, exactly. Like he ran 180 in Nottingham Half. That is still a phenomenal uh, run split. Now, and I haven't done the math, so this might conflict with what I've previously just said. But out of the YouTube triathletes, and this wasn't a, a caveat of Will getting me on this channel, I think Will's going to come out on top as in Will Cowan. Uh, Andy Horse will turn a second. Will Monday, I think, is going to be the third YouTube triathlete. And Harry Palmer, I think, unfortunately, is going to be the fourth YouTube triathlete. So that could be a video title for you there that Harry's going to be last. Um, that's basically, that's basically my right. predictions. But yeah, but let us know down below what you think of these people. I always find it interesting because people only see a small glimmer of people's training online and on Strava and stuff. It's really interesting to see where they think you are relative to other people. So let us know down below what you think is going to happen with the, the four YouTube triathletes. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of other elite athletes in the race, so that it, there's a lot of people to play with. But, um, yeah, let, let us know your thoughts. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was... Liz is glaring at me. Uh, the other <laughs> YouTube triathlete, uh, Liz and I are doing it as a relay. I'm doing the swim. Liz is doing the bike run. Uh, the plan is I'm going to get in the lead group on the swim. She's going to hold it on the bike and then run away from the field on the run. So. And the, the team name just one more time? Okay, I'm going to say this slowly so that Will doesn't get demonetized. <laughs> Sofa, as in what you sit on. King, as in rules the country. Uh, fast, as in what we are. So the commentator would say, Sofa King Fast. Excellent. Well, Dan, that's um, much appreciated for your insight there. There's a bit of pressure on my shoulders, I guess, but <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see how things unfold on race day. And I think, if nothing else, it's going to be wicked. There's so many people racing from the British tri scene. I know I've got loads of other friends that are doing this as like a first triathlon. So the outdoor events are a pretty special atmosphere, aren't they? And it's just going to be a, a cracking day out, if yeah. nothing else. Yeah, there's a live tracker. There's two splits on the bike. There's multiple splits on the run. Uh, Will will leave a link down below to the live tracking. Wait, Will, that's another job for you. Yep. Uh, so if you want to track along from <laughs> feel free to do so. But if you are around the Hulk and Norfolk area, give these guys a shout. Will will have hopefully put some pictures of people on screen. I'm giving you loads of post production editing to do. Um, so if you recognise any of them, give them a shout. And tell them you're following the YouTube Triathlete for World Championships. And if you see Dan with a camera, go up and say hi. Yeah. Will Cowan sent me. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for a drone in a bush somewhere. <laughs> up a tree. Wicked. Cheers, Dan. I'll, uh, we'll speak soon. Pleasure. See you Sunday. Yeah, see you Sunday. Right, some real good insight there from Dan. Really interested to hear what you guys think is going to happen in the race as well, how it's going to pan out. If you're there, come and say hi to any of us. We'd love to see you. Plan for this evening. I'm going out for a half an hour run with a few strides, and then it is race weekend. So tomorrow morning, going out for a spin, and that will be all part of the race weekend video. So I'll catch up with you on the run now and uh, explain what's going on there. See you then. Right, there we go. That was a uh, good old chat there with Dan. Just get my run done, 30 minutes. I'm gonna stop now, I think. Do a few strides, four by 15 seconds. And then tomorrow, like I said, out for an easy ride for an hour. And that's about it, over at the venue. Race day video coming at you. Hopefully you've enjoyed this week. I think I'm gonna probably do this again. Cheers to the inspiration to uh, the Sanders and Talbot Cox duo. Um, thanks to everyone that's liked these videos, left any comments, really appreciated and hope you've enjoyed them too.